In this next lesson, we're going to go through a few of the additional intersection editing features available in UC WinRoad. To access these features, click on our intersection, right click, and then select Edit Intersection. This is going to bring up an additional window that's very similar to the one you can access through Plan View, the exception being that some of those controls are grayed out. So to access these, you'll need to edit an intersection via Plan View instead. The first tab we're going to look at is called Road Texture. To access the texture editing features, select Texture Editor in the right-hand uh, side of the window. And this brings up an additional window that allows us to really quickly draw in things like crosswalks, stop lines, custom shapes, and even text. All of these you can reposition and custom later on if you need to or are dissatisfied with your results the first time you exit. So for now I'm going to click OK and you can see that those changes are dropped right on top of my pre-existing intersection texture. The next tab we're going to look at is sidewalk and banking. Uh, this allows me to edit the texture for these two road components and there's a drop down list on the right hand side that allows me to change these. You can add your own textures to this list by taking your image files and dropping them into the UC WinRoad data folder that's located in the C drive. You just need to navigate to the correct folder. Um, in, this in this case we, uh, we navigate to textures and road and then we can find the correct road component. And the next time you open up UC WinRoad those textures will appear on this list. The next tab is called Drive Paths, and this allows us to customize how vehicles drive through the intersection. So we can see that for every lane here, this is exactly the, the path that vehicles will follow as they drive through. And this is useful in some cases when you have large vehicles that are trying to navigate a really tight turn like this one here on the left. So for this case, you can grab this control point here and then kind of customize how you want the vehicle to drive through. Say if it needs to take a wider turn, you can kind of drag this path out here and then adjust the curve handles on the side to, uh, to custom customize how the vehicle drives through. What you need to be careful of obviously is that you don't want to allow the vehicle to, to take such a wide turn that it drives through another corresponding drive path here. So it takes a little bit of tweaking but you can uh, uh, tweak this to get a perfect fit for whatever simulation or uh, scenario you're looking at. The other thing that you can do in this tab is adjust the weights that allow uh, vehicles to drive in different directions as they reach the intersection. So for example, for this particular lane here, for every 25 cars that travel through this intersection uh, on this lane, 20 of them are going to go straight and 5 of them are going to go right using the default controls that are set up here on the side. But I can change this mix rate to be whatever I like. So say for every 40 cars that drive through, uh, 40 are going to go, or 45 cars rather, 40 are going to go straight on drive path B and 5 are going to turn right and go on H. The next tab is called stopping points and this allows me to customize where I want vehicles to begin to queue at the intersection when uh, they reach at a red light. So if I click on this drive path right here and then one of these lane directions I can see that where I drew my uh, crosswalk and stop point doesn't really correspond to where the vehicles are going to begin to queue up. So if I uh, add in pedestrian models later on, I obviously don't want my cars driving through the pedestrians. So I'm going to pull that back for this lane and for this one as well, just to get a more accurate fit. And for this one, I've already pulled it back, so it should be OK. There we go. The final tab that you can access through this editor is called Queue Links. And basically what this allows you to do is to automatically set up cars to be waiting at the start of a traffic simulation at this intersection. So I'm going to customize the queue length for this lane right here and place five cars to be waiting at this lane at the start of my next traffic simulation. And at this one I've already placed five cars as well and at some of the other lanes. There we go. I have six cars generating from this lane as well. So when I click OK, I can see that my textures are going to update for the banking, the cutting here, uh, the sidewalk rather, and also for my intersection. And then when I start my traffic simulation, let me deselect the intersection, those queue links that I 
set up in the intersection editor already have cars generated on them so I don't have to wait for cars to filter in from the endpoints here.